What's up, everybody? It's go. Solo Supreme, and welcome to a new series on the channel of Victoria 2. And as you may notice, we are in our first multiplayer list play, and I am with my cohort, Thunder God. Say hi, Thunder God. Hola. So right now, we are starting this series, and this series is going to be called Asian Ambitions for obvious reasons. I am going to play as the Chinese Empire, and really, it's because I've never played as China before, and I just want to, like, you know, see how it goes with unifying all this nonsense. While Thunder God is going to deal with Japan, he's going to have that technological head start on me, and can easily go around, you know, plundering and raping the world. Bow to me, profligates. Wow, that... <laughs> 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 hey, so actually, let's hop back in the game. So, let's get this out of the way. Thunder God, so who was the one who trained you in this game? I trained myself. Yeah. I was not born. I always existed. Yeah. <laughs> don't, get, don't get your britches too high up. <laughs> so, right now, we're going to, like, this is going to be a wondrous fucking game game i can already tell it is gonna be so wondrous <laughs> all right start it okay so right. right now I, I see all this yeah i know china has a lot of people but i truly don't know what the i'm just gonna do classic way <coughs> and mm -hmm. we're gonna like we're gonna figure this out together <laughs> Yep, we will certainly will. Let me see. Yeah. Let's see. I pretty much have no army at all. Yeah. Do, 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 I got a little bit of stuff, but yeah, there's nothing to be too amazed by. I mean, ah, Jesus, I can raise a lot of troops, but still. Mm, let me actually worry about these. I guess I'll try raising these and I am going to basically tax the hell out of everyone. Da, da, da. This, this, this up. And all right. When you're ready to unpause, I'm ready to unpause too. Okay, we can go. All right, I'll, I'll put it up to like about speed three right now all right uh well seeing as how i forgot china is basically somewhat the world's factory especially in certain goods i'm kind of generating a modest income right now mm -hmm. i am um, my budget is going to the floor okay <laughs> yeah. get ready to make some cutbacks all right so I guess I'm gonna just do the aggressive startup and um let's see, I'm trying to figure out who should I be aggressive to. I mean, we're probably both gonna dance around the Korean question. I might just oh. go for Vietnam. But Korea yeah. I it is like it's still kinda good. <laughs> I could just break my alliance with them and just tell them to like screw off, but I actually want to do Korea because they're closer to me. And since I'm the one that, like, I'm on an island, I don't want to have to, like, send troops all the way to Vietnam by boat. That is true. We could, like, I, I also want to get this out the way. We're going to be kind of friendly towards each other at the beginning because we're, yeah. we're not going to get immediate butting the heads, though. We, you know, in the future, it's inevitable. I'm not even going to, like, cover that fact that we are going to butt heads in Asia because, one, you're Japan. You're going to jump as, like, the superpower first. And then when I get around to westernizing, then I could shine. But, you know, we're we're still a ways away. I got 3.5% of my country is literate. That is disgusting to the nth degree. What is mine at? Uh, mine's forty percent. Yeah, you got nearly half your country literate. I'm, yeah. Well, people. we can read. <laughs> We're not uncivilized. We're just another culture. Yeah. I just found gold. So that's something. <laughs> All right. Let so see. let's see. Is anything going on in Europe? 
Uh, well, let's see. Nothing in Europe, but, well, if you count the Ottomans, kind of with their I, recent trip. Can you, you can see right now, like in Europe? Oh, no, I was dark. checking the diplomacy screen. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Speaking of seeing, I gotta, like, let me schmooze with some of the other powers of the world. UK, nah, I'm a schmooze with France and Prussia. Hey, you know, you can also schmooze with me if you like. <laughs> Let's see, the world Ooh. shall tilt on an Asian axis. <laughs> So, you have any plans for, like, any future colonization? Oh, um, right now, Korea. That's my only, that's my first thought. Okay. My first, like, my only function in life right now is to westernize. Same. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll probably pass the buck of Korea with you, just to be kind, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> I appreciate it. Right now, and the first step to that, I'm trying to get foreign, the foreign weapons, uh, research yeah so i can get so i can start getting infantry instead of the fucking the fucking farmers with pitchforks that yeah. they call i got a ways to go they're regular <laughs> not even regular they're irregular <laughs> sound like make them sound like old women who are irregular <laughs> <laughs> oh this is gonna be I'm truly wondering how this is going to turn out in the end, what the world map is going to look like. Everyone's going to be... Everyone's going to have squinty eyes. Okay, that... <laughs> that was just... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that may have been a little off-color. I apologize. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Tainan was an alliance with oh. me. Nope. Well, everyone will speak a hybrid language of Chinese and Japanese. Well, I, I just prefer uh, they all just speak Chinese. Call it, call it cha Japanese. Japanese. <laughs> that just sounds like Japanese, but if someone <laughs> with like a lip set. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not with a not with a J. Let's see. Hmm. This. Right now, it's just mostly going to be me sitting on my hands. I, <laughs> I, I honestly am not going to westernize any quicker until um, I at least can get foreign training methods or at least imported weapons. But that, that is looking like it's not going to be a reality anytime soon. I mean, I wonder. Let me see. my main thing i could try to i mean i'm encouraging the hell out of uh some clergy to get my people more educated but uh we're at a steady pace um i'm like 0.9 percent from two percent optimization yeah hey, uh, at least one thing i can accomplish they have the number one military in the world right now that's because you have a that's because you just have the most people holding a pitchfork. True. I don't have any capitalists, so I'm just going to stock poverty. Now, I do kind of want to make a kind of aggressive opening. I don't even remember fully what it takes to take Korea. Like, I don't know how many men it would take for me to defeat them. Uh, not so I'm much. kind of going into this one. Honestly, because, like, um, since I'm China and I'm not going to defend them, it's not going to take that much. I'm trying to see who I could go after for a quick bite. I mean, I could declare humiliation wars just to get some prestige, but, mm, I don't know. So, Japan, are you gonna, uh, did you take the little early Meiji restoration? Oh, I completely forgot to do that. How do I do that? 
uh, hop on to like politics and go mm -hmm. to the, the decision map. Decision, decision, decision. Oh yeah, early made you restoration. Yes, please. Yes. Good lord, yes. Alright, policies, population. How many points do I have right now? Forms. Ooh! Import weapons, yes! Flint locks. Give me those flint locks. Oakley dokley. Alright, now. Thank you for the Yes, I am. So I think right now I'm just gonna do army build up. I mean, mm -hmm. Really got nothing that's else I can do. That's kind of what I'm doing too. Uh, I don't even know where to send you guys over there. So this is gonna be the a uh, wackadoodle thing right now i'm at zero militancy i'm i wonder i think i might get some events um that'll probably quicken uh my westernization i don't know i got this basic the news of the world So, all right, I see my little sub-states building up their troops, too. Let me see. I don't think I even have any, you know, I don't have any decisions I can choose right now. Although, I am kind of getting close. Um close being like a quarter of the way there <laughs> hmm I actually won't I don't actually don't think I'll need foreign weapons like just you, off the bat I could just go for you, training methods you mean a quarter of a way to westernizing no I'm just Jesus I wish uh, I'm like a quarter of the way to getting one tech <laughs> just about oh okay yeah, I have a I have a mighty ways to go. I said I'm probably just gonna wait until I can get what's this one? Foreign training methods just so I could get that bonus points towards conquering and then go from there. Yeah, I got like a little bit of ways to go. I I don't have like forty percent literacy like some people. Amen. Yeah, right now we're gonna have to keep it at this speed just to make sure everything remains stable and the game doesn't like explode. <laughs> Last thing we want I this feel game to be. <laughs> so while I'm doing this, I'm gonna just go around the world uh looking to see what's going on. If anything. I mean Argentina is at war with Bolivia and Peru. Brazil and Chile are at war with Colombia and Ecuador. So the main things are going on in South America. And ew, what is what is going on down here in Texas? Lots and lots of sex. Yeah. Uh that just is like cause Texas I guess Mexico kind of won the war and then Texas applied to join the United States. Actually speaking of, do I have let me sit up some yeah, that's an interesting nation. Is Japan an interesting nation? Yes. I think that was it. Oh, I didn't have them set up. Uh, let me do that real quick. So I can get any pop-ups if anything major happens. Let's see. That one. I'll do it for, like, the primary great powers. Uh, I'm going to throw in Austria. And let me also add Russia because they are my next door neighbor. Speaking of, let me Lord, I need those, need those clipper transports. 
Oh yeah, you gotta build that. Alright, so France entered an alliance with Sardinia Piedmont. That's to be expected. It looks really ridiculous. As soon as I take over Korea, everyone's gonna care for some reason, and then it's gonna be like six crisis wars. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Get ready for that showdown. <laughs> yeah. It's literally like the cause of World War One. Everyone minds other people's businesses, and everyone just gets into a retarded war for no reason. <laughs> people are instigating. People are pissed off, threatening smaller countries. It is just, you know, well, not a good time. It's just, I think it's just because they just want all the land for themselves, honestly. Yep. So, how close so are you to uh, getting, like, the foreign weapons or imported weapons? I already weapons? got the, I already got, I already got it. Right after I, um... I literally had enough as soon as I did the um, Meiji earlier Meiji restoration. I just, I just, I literally just have to wait for Clipper transports, and they are taking. Yeah, they're gonna be their... a while before uh, they yeah. get around to you. But luckily, it should be kind of quick unless other nations are building up, which they may be, because usually I, I mean I have one crazy. I have, oh, have one, one Clipper transport. I don't know what I can carry over in one version. <laughs> you, I say at least wait till you're like at four or five. Yeah, like if I send this thing over there, then rebellion. But why? Okay, this is. Oh, you have a little uprising in Japan. Oh, I see it. There's one in Kanto. Uh, Yokohama. How do I? Know. How do I? What the heck? Uh, you better stop them. I... They're about to take over Edo. Yeah, I see. Oh, God. God, tell me you're going to stop them. I'm trying. Like, I, they just. It's so fast. I don't. Yeah, let me slow it down and pause for a second because if they take Edo and they hold it for like a little bit, it will like reset your civilization progress. Uh, okay. I think because it's like what happens, this is what happens when you are in the process of westernizing. Uh, usually you'll get reactionaries that rise up. And I do not want you to just get flipped out automatically off the bat. Okay, I'm I'm like uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it there in time or not, but I think you'll still have you'll still have time. Um, you'll have like as long as you're sieging it down, you'll have more enough time. I don't I don't understand why they're so strong right now. Why they have so many? Uh, what's your militancy level? Uh, uh, Japanese. Reactionaries, total 225k rebels, average organization 20%. Uh, Alright, you can go ahead and start it. Um, We're gonna do an SV2. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if this army will win. I honestly don't. Shoot, was it most of your army that flipped? No, I mean these. These are both of my armies put together that I had so far. Okay, okay, I see. Like, I think you're in the middle of a battle because the occupation thing stopped. They look like they're losing very badly. Holy shit! There's like a lot. Like, hang on. Uh, I'm gonna pause it real quick. Accept this alliance offer, so I so I can see what's going on. Oh shit! Whoa! Holy fuck! That is a huge uprising. Yes, I don't know why, too. Yeah, I've never seen one this big. Hey, uh, did uh, also did you lower your army spending? Like your My military maintenance spending? one? Let me see. Uh, like the bar at the very top of like the budget screen on the right hand side. Oh, yeah, lower it. No, oh, that's because that's strange. Like, holy shit, this is like military, military spending is at is at the middle. 
I mean, I raised the tax for the poor. Oh wait, your military rich. like your military spending is at fifty percent. Uh, the defense spending. Yeah, it, it says fifty percent. Oh. Oh wait, that that not the one with the soldiers at the bottom. I'm talking about the one at the top. Those are all the way to the right. Okay. So I'm that's actually strange. Like holy shit, that's huge. I've never seen that many in like early games of Japan. Yeah, and they're kicking the shit out of me too. Holy shit. The fucking reactionaries, holy fuck. They're literally beating the dog shit out of me. I'm about to lose. I lost. So I think what's gonna happen is you're gonna get overthrown and it's gonna uh I don't understand how this is happening so fast. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. I like I honestly am dumbfounded too. I never like this is like some mid game like amount of shit right here. I've never seen like even in the early when they rise up, I only see like a couple like twenty five stacks. This is like Yeah, like, I don't Yeah, they're sieging down fucking Japan. They're about to go away uh, in a few days because they have control of Edo. Good God. Um, on the bright side, one of your boats just for There, it's just... <laughs> Uh, King, the nation of Japan is in revolution. All our alliance with them have, are broken, influence, and yeah, so they removed one of your military reforms. That was like the only one you had. Really? Yeah. So I just wasted. Son of a bitch. Yeah, so you have to get it back now. Hold, like, holy so, fucking shit. Hang on. Uh, ally me again? I'm gonna uh, ask you for an alliance. Like, holy shit. I never seen that many that quickly wow build up an army and just hang them out out inside of Edo so you don't have to like deal with that shit again well on the bright side your boats are forming it's just that it sets you back a little bit for the conquest of Korea but oh, it's sending you back very far you know how long it'll take me to get that shit back uh, yeah it'll probably take you like a little bit um Why? Like, like holy shit i mean like i expected like maybe a rebel uprising would happen against you but like still it it shouldn't have been like i never seen it that large before like that's like some in-game shit um in my opinion even though i've seen them like that a little bit in different parts of the game but that's like something like oh i'm at war with somebody and then like rebels pop up but by that time they're just uh annoyance more than anything uh, well, I can well, still make, I can still make infantry for some reason. Don't know why. Don't question it, then. Just keep doing it. <laughs> uh, check back on your uh, little reform thing. Does it still show it? As you have imported weapons? No, I looked and I, I have local weapons again. That's so fucking weird. I guess, it, but you can still raise infantry, right? Yeah. I have no idea. Like, I say, let's just not question it. <laughs> Let me see. You're good. You're good. Um, I have. Why are there forty thousand Chinese in down here? Stop. Oh goodness! All my little vassals are. I have little units sprinkled in my vassals. This is so. So many damn troops. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I have Tibet as like a little, what is it, like a satellite? Yeah, Tibet is like a satellite down here. Let me. Hmm. All right, so Russia allied with France, UK allied with Austria, and Prussia is only minding its own business. Why is my budget going down in the negative? I'm taxing the shit out of everyone. I don't understand. Probably because of like the little bit of naval maintenance um, for your navy. 
Mm. Yeah, it's getting uh, worse. It's worse. It's worse. Good lord. Yeah, I'll fast forward it. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking. <laughs> That was a left field sort of thing. That was like 73 stack on top of Edo. That, that's ridiculous. And then they had like another 60 stacks. Like, yeah, I'm like all around you. I was like, what the fuck? That, that, uh, that was worse than fighting in China. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, you should... Um, but luckily, because of your high literacy rate, you'll be able to bounce back to it, um, at least relatively fast. I am, I have to get 6,800, uh, points, and I'm only at 1,909 right now for my mm. first tech. And then once I get that, then I shall, um, be a bit of an ass and be a bit aggressive. Uh, I'm probably not gonna go for Burma because I think the UK is gonna like try to get that and I don't want to form a border with the UK just yet so I, I'm probably gonna stick with like Dynam, uh, this thing Long Prabangi or Laos and then Cambodia and maybe a chunk of Siam maybe because I, I don't want to have borders with the UK and then the UK just declares war on me and just screws me over Oh, there goes my alarm. Alright, so let's see. Just carry this on for like, it's just about like five more minutes. Yeah, revolution in Japan. A revolution has taken place in Japan. Japanese reactionaries have defeated the government forces and broken the country. Japan is now under the control of the Shogun faction. Citizens can expect immediate reforms reflecting our reactionary values. <laughs> That's a lot of words to speak nonsense, in my opinion. <laughs> Yep, I guess the Shogun at one. Yeah, I see, like, your Eight. troops. Alright, looks like you're rallying the forces. Me, I... I have such a... Like... The amount of soldiers I could raise is just, like, dumb right now. And I'm not trying to raise that much. Even though it, I should, because it'll help me be beefier i think my satellites and everything all inclusive will help relieve some of the pressure the last thing i think russia is probably gonna do something stupid um uh, actually now that i'm thinking about it the only thing i i'll have against russia is just bodies so i should probably raise some troops quick question how do i disband units like, I want to disband the Irregulars. Mm-hmm. Uh, switch them to the, uh, infantry? Yeah, I'm switching them with infantry. You know, as I spawn in infantry, I'm just deleting the Irregulars. Okay, so, uh, pretty much that's, like, just, like, separate your Irregulars into a different army and then just disband them. Do I just, like, do I hit split army? Uh, do create unit, the button next to it, and then just, like, select the irregulars over to the next army. But actually, you, like, drag, you drag this shit? Oh, there we go. Click that. Alright, I think I'm gonna wrap this uh, segment up right here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video series thus far. This is something new for the channel and that hopefully everyone can enjoy. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, keep up with any new uploads. Hit that bell for notifications to get that extra ring-a-ding-ding -ding, uh, when I make a new video. And with that said, I'll see you guys again soon. It's so supreme, and Have a great day, folks. What do you say, Thunder God? Toodles. Good God. Now this one is pure niceness.